a growing international community of psychologists is challenging century-old approaches to psychotherapy and psychological assessment with spectacular results. Headquartered in Austin, Texas, the movement has discovered and documented the life-changing process that people undergo when you invite them to collaborate and get curious about their struggles. Traditionally, what we have seen is the assessor comes in as an expert and administers measures or conducts an interview and then provides certain information about the client to the client. I think a lot of times uh, psychologists do testing in a way that uh, seems a little bit black box to clients. I will start to do assessment in a very strict white coat way like I'm the one who knows it all and I cannot talk about my tests to you. They were trained to judge people psychologically but what I say is, we don't have to judge people. On some regular basis, my clients and I can get stuck, and we're not quite sure how to get unstuck. And that's when I immediately think of TA. In therapeutic assessment, clients come in and we ask them, what is it you want to learn about yourself? What puzzles do you have about yourself? Maybe you've been in therapy for a long time. What are the problems you still haven't been able to shift? And we come up with questions, individualized questions that people pose about themselves. And everyone's different about that. Uh, some people come in with a list of you know, questions. Other people come in with a list from their wife of questions. <laughs> Based on those questions, we decide on what formal testing we might need. So if somebody comes in with a question about the social world, we plan a battery that's in line with the person's questions. So these are instruments that have gone through rigorous evaluation to make sure they're psychometrically sound, to make sure that standard scores and other metrics that come out of them uh, are norm-based and are going to be very representative. So, you know, a lot of other interventions, if they do use data, sometimes they rely solely on just self-reported symptom uh, severity. Uh, which really only can tell you so much about a person's functioning uh, and about their personality, which we know is really important for them in uh, coming to a better understanding of themselves. You know, what one score with one person on a test shows might be vastly different what it means for another person. And it's about putting that all together and getting to know the person and their history. After that, we'll give feedback and a summary and feedback and then write a letter that um, explicates the whole process. They go through the client's questions and they answer them, bringing in the test results in order to explain the answers to their questions. Putting together the knowledge that we get from testing, the awareness that clients get from discussing their test results with the assessor, and the use of therapeutic principles that are empirically supported as effective I think that these three things really help clients change. At this point, over 30 different published studies have confirmed the effectiveness of therapeutic assessment, particularly for people who haven't had success with other means. Even a very brief two or three hour TA just using one test um, can produce as much therapeutic change as longer therapies that take maybe 20 sessions. We did um, a uh, randomized clinical trial with patients with personality pathology and personality disorders. And what we were looking for really was, was patients who had seemed to either stop improving or maybe were uh, stalled entirely uh, and maybe had not really benefited at all from psychotherapy. And what we did is a mid-therapy therapeutic assessment. They all said they gained a lot of new insights, which was very striking to me because the patients I work with, 98% of them have more than five years of therapy before they enter the center here. Ultimately, it seems that the basic human need to be seen and understood is what provides much of the power of therapeutic assessment. We all have stories about ourselves that we have created based on our life experiences that are really fundamental to how we experience the world. Unfortunately, these stories, although they might have served us at one point in time, aren't really that accurate and really are not that useful later in life. So what often happens through a therapeutic assessment is a person develops through the process of assessment a more coherent, accurate, compassionate, and useful story about themselves. We believe that every person with support can find the next steps to building a better life. Join us.
at the Therapeutic Assessment Institute.